Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to look at something that is uh, kind of an add-on. It's really cool. Uh, it's for Virtual DJ 8. Uh, it's called My Library. Now My Library is a tool that was devised by uh, Everybody knows him, DJ in Norway. He uh, created this uh, DJ Swiss Army knife of smart crates, uh, so to speak, uh, virtual folders and filter folders all nested together. So you can go in, you can uh, see your entire library just by clicking on different folders. Um, of course, you can remove the folders that you don't like. Uh, it's a tool that he created for himself and uh, a lot of people were asking for different filter folder options so it's kind of a smart setup uh, what he's done is he's released it to everybody for free so if you have a license jump on the website and you could check it out I will put a link down in the description below and uh, you can download it and check it out for yourself but we should probably jump into the software and see how it works so let's go All right, so here we have the uh, My Library section. You can see right here, I've already added the folder. I will, as I said, I will put a link in the description so that you can get it, and it does come with instructions for you to install it. It's actually quite simple. Uh, today, we're not even gonna be using the decks. So what I did was I downloaded the uh, browser zoom skin by DJ Touchdown. So big shout out to DJ Touchdown so that I'm able to do this and get rid of the decks and then we can focus on my library. I'll also put a, a link in the description below so that you can get that skin. So if we click on the drop down in my library, you'll see a host of folders here, all sorts of things. You can view your entire database where you have just audio, Oh, it's got more options. You can see all your audio, new audio, missing audio, not scanned audio. Same with video, karaoke, your edits. So if you do any editing in the software with the track cleaner or video editor, they will show up here. Content unlimited cache. Nice little tools folder so that you can actually go in and you can go by no artist, no title. So if we click on something with no artist, I've got a few in here with no artist that I need to clean up a bit. Nice and easy if you want to go in and tag some things and you, you don't have uh, a grasp on your ginormous library and how many files that don't have proper tags. You can actually use this folder for that. Very, very cool. Same with bitrate. You can go into the bitrate now this is auto so it'll show you all the bit rates of your tracks uh, so if you wanted to get rid of some lesser known bit rates you could do that uh, just by clicking on one of those folders live list is a very cool feature um, this is live meaning what's playing in your master deck it will show you the compatible tracks the list will be populated automatically. Here it'll just show basically my entire library because there's nothing in the deck, so everything's compatible currently. Compatible meaning uh, two beats per minute difference in BPM and a similar harmonic key on the Camelot wheel. You can also go into harmonic if you just want the harmonic similarity or BPM similarity. Or if you have something that is compatible and recent, uh, you got to get those recent tracks in, those fresh hot tracks that you just downloaded but you can't remember what they are. You can click on that on that folder as well. And then your compatible top rated, so your go-to tracks, the ones that you play all the time and the ones that you've rated, show up in that folder. We also have artists, where you can actually search by artist letter, which might be a little easier. You can do the same for album and title. Then we get into kind of the really cool power feature tools like key. And you can see what key, sort them by which key you want to. You can also do the compatible live and the harmonic live in this folder as well. And the any of these folders can be altered or deleted as well. There is a, for example, if I right click, I can edit this folder 
and I can see what the filter is and I can change it to my liking if I'm not happy with what is here already. BPM is the same as key but obviously as the key folder sorry but obviously with a difference in BPM it looks like uh, the higher ones are 5 and then as we get into the lower ones they're about 10. Now you can change those as well but that was a big power feature in version 7. A lot of users asked how do I get you know 85 to 100 BPM I want to put them in a folder. Filter folder does that for you without having to create folders you just have to create the filter. Genres. I use basically just the one genre folder which is auto. It shows all my tag genres. Also helps me organize my library. This is a massive, massive, massive list of genres. I have 763 here. But if I wanted to use something that was like Clubhouse, he's got this, I'm gonna move this over just a tad. Clubhouse generic. Show you things like house, progressive house, house, anything that's got house in the tag will show up there. And the same similarities for the other folders that are in there as well. So acapellas, for example, you can see that this is a progressive house track, but it's got acapella in the title. So it's picking out acapellas automatically just based on the filter. You can go by year. This is pretty handy, you know, with your last five years in the list where you probably were playing the most. And then you can go back to your other years. Now this is all dependent again on how you tag your tracks. If they're tagged properly, these filter systems will work perfect for you. You can also go by the time it was added. If it was something that was added today, you need that hot track that you just downloaded before the gig, you go to the added to today folder. Added yesterday, added seven days. Same with new audio, new video, new karaoke. And then your top 200, like these are your top 200 most plays or your top 400 that this year. And that will be a combination of audio, video, and karaoke. You can go by popular. You can go by when you last played it. And then there's a separate folder just for edits. So just like the previous folder where it had um, anything that you would have done in the track cleaner or the video editor, they'll show up here as well. So you may not need the, this folder, for example, because it's already showing up somewhere else. Simply right click on the folder, delete the virtual folder, and it's gone. And then there's the extras folder where you can organize them by color, composer, grouping, the record label it's on, the remixer, or the actual track itself. So as you can see, my library is a very cool feature. I hope you guys will get some use out of it. Um, I will put a link, as I said, below um, so that you can go right to it. Uh, please leave your questions and comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, keep your head in the mix.